I've always loved Emily Dickinson. And it's become an obsession as I've gotten older. I would much rather set her poems than almost anybody else's because so much is suggested there. So I began to feel this deepening kinship with her. Not that she was retreating from the world. She was very much part of it. She loved her time at college and she came home because her father insisted that she come home. Um, and then she stayed at home, but she protected her own time and her own work. Her father always made fun of her poetry. My father didn't make fun of my music. He was always very, very um, accepting of it, but he didn't understand it. Emily's and my situations were very similar in some ways and very different in others. But certainly we're shaped by this climate. We're shaped by this very rugged countryside, the granite and the hills. <laughs>